Yeah, as soon as the bell rings, call me Mr. Beldy or Mr. Big Bopper. I'll make it a quick stoppage with the hand speed of a city pickpocket. Like a stampede of nothing but Zangief. I'm leading with arms swinging. They all like won an award winning performance with a bizarre event. We don't want anything. We go get everything. Shit, we go get seven rings. We don't really want to get caught leaving hip hop just as a memory. What is up, YouTube? We're here at my thrift store about to go volunteer but the good news is I was actually hired for every other Friday so it's amazing I'm gonna come and volunteer and I have a job here which is great um, because Randy or Rick um, they, Rick is uh, leaving to Washington and Randy's working at Disney so it gives me a better opportunity to get some of this good stuff now let's hope there's some good stuff today because I haven't been here for quite some time and I've always get good footage for you guys so I'm hoping there's some good stuff uh, today I'm in, and I'm gonna hold on every time I come work I'm not gonna check the bin uh, so I can save it for video game hunting live for you guys. So I'm super happy about this and uh, Let's go see what we got and then we'll go do some game hunting tomorrow and Sunday So we'll see you guys then and there. So we'll talk to you guys later You guys so we got two full boxes um i asked her before i bought this if she was okay if i bought another system that was the same um or put it at the store she said it's fine um i told her i was a game collector and she says as long as you're you know as long as you come work do for uh come and you know put the stuff out that's great for us and i mean i don't mind you taking any of this stuff um so i get this for 50 percent off which is an amazing price and i mean she even priced it herself um but she didn't tag them because she's just a great manager and she says just take it away juan so I'm super happy she helped me out with this stuff. So uh, we got SeaWorld Deep Sea Adventure. At one time this game was obscure and now it's actually very common. So that was a long time ago. But I picked it up just in case. And then uh, I think I paid 3 or $2. For, I can't remember how much I paid for this. I did say it was cracked. As you guys can see there, it is um, actually... Give me a quick sec so I can show you guys. If I can get it to focus. There you go. See, as you guys can see that, it is cracked. Um, so she and I mean she pretty much uh, counted as for free because I had a game here I told her there was a game there and a game here. So for three bucks a dollar fifty per game, which is amazing For that stuff and then we got that's her this is when I asked her um, is it okay if I buy an extra system because these are mint These are very very clean well taken care of Nintendo Wii systems here and I test them all out. They both work great. I um, had Wii sports. So I'm gonna trade those guys in um, at GameStop get some store credit and then we end up picking up a PS2 working as well with a whole bunch of NES stuff, which is kind of odd um, that the system wasn't there. The power cable was there. I mean, there's the power cable, which I needed one actually because mine broke. So hopefully that one works out. And you, as you guys can see, there's two controllers. There's the, the pad. So it's kind of odd that the system didn't come out or any games. Um, and it's one of those um, volunteer guys who picked it up because a long time ago, this kid used to volunteer and um, used to take a lot of game stuff. And now he doesn't volunteer there because I guess he went to college. But, I mean, I'm still happy that I found this stuff. I think total that I paid was under 15 bucks for all this stuff, which is amazing because um, of my discount. So, uh, I think it was like 10 per system, but she threw it all in for 15 So, I'm going to trade those guys in, and I'm super happy about that. So, I'll talk to you guys later, and we'll see you guys tomorrow at Game Hunting Live. Good morning, guys. This is video game hunting episode 34 i have a good feeling today i don't know i have a really good feeling we're gonna find some good stuff today i feel like it's gonna be some retro stuff today let's hope um, we are early as hell the vendors are not even set up yet uh, for some weird reason we came a little too early but which is fine you know we get a head start like i said every second every minute counts so we'll see you guys in a bit and see what we find Here 
here either? Let's see if the dish is even in there. Looks like it's sealed, but... Oh, I have that one too. I have the box for it, but is it on there? Yeah, it's in there. You do a better deal than that because forty is a little steep. Two thirty. Forty-five. Thirty. I'll take thirty-five. You see, this is actually factory sealed. Um, I did open it to make sure it was in there complete, but it's actually brand new sealed and uh, Mario Sports Mix for thirty-five. Not a bad deal. Uh, especially for this, so not bad. Oh, sorry, not. <laughs> how much is it? You know how much you're asking for it? For the Nintendo? The whole thing? Yeah. It's all there. It looks like it's all in there. Hundred. Oh no way! What are you thinking? It's like thirty. No. That's how much they go for. A no. hundred. Tienen los los juegos. Each each game is like. Yeah, because my dad has had it for a long time. Here's forty. Yeah, All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> just check the just check the prices and let me know how much you want to sell it for. I got five found go bots. <laughs> Sick. Oh, what? Go bots? Yeah, I got a bag full of them. Bag full of what? Go bots? Let me see. Is it so it says right there, look. It says go bots. There's a few there. There's a box of little figurines over there. Alright, guys, a lot of transformers. A lot of vintage stuff, you guys. Oh, man, I'm using my flashlight. Look at all these G1s. You guys. You know that thing has a memory for it? Can't uh, I don't that. really think yeah. they know. Yeah, somebody else is buying that. Oh, they are? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. 
sorry. Turn off this one. The only one that was good guy was this one, Telesophonia. Just pretty bit out for five. Make sure every game's in there. Y los controla, ¿de cuánto los tiene? ¿Cuánto? Señor, ¿a cuánto ya los controles? Porque tiene, sí tiene muchos, no sé si los vende. ¿Pero esos de cuál son? ¿Para el GameCube? O sea, nomás se ocupan dos para eso, ¿no? Sí, nomás dos se ocupan para eso. Dame ocho por cada uno. Ocho, eso es lo que Si hace cinco por él, señor, sería, oh, okay. all right, you guys, so for five bucks, grab the GameCube controller and Telsophonia, that's pretty much it. You get the Wii system there. ¿A cuándo tenía la sistema? De cinco. There's one that I need for the. 3DS. ¿Y el cargador? ¿No tenía la sistema? No. Guys, so we're back in my car. Um, we're not gonna stop because. Give me a quick sec. Gotta lock the car. Give me a quick sec, guys. All right, so we're back at it. Uh, sure enough, I was able to miss. I messed out on. Battletoads Double Dragon for the Super Nintendo, which I really needed for my collection. Um, the guy that picked it up was a guy that collects records. Now, like I said again, um, even people from that collect records are buying games now, and uh, he bought it for 10 bucks. He bought a whole stack of Super Nintendo games. The one that I was able to see was only Battletoads Double Dragon. I offered him 25, and he said no. Uh, so I was like, all right, whatever. And then, you know, my friend found Toomba for the play PlayStation 1. And you know, it's been really good today. I had a feeling today was, a bit, it was gonna be a really good day. And it's one of those days where, um, you know, a lot of stuff is popping up right now. So we gotta keep our heads together. And um, we can't quit because it's still early and people are still setting up. So we gotta be on our feet today really quick. So wish me luck and let's see what else we find. Oh, so it is cracked in? Yeah. Oh, okay. The body is very good. That's cheap, eh? Because there's no more. Mm. Well, they have them. They have them now at uh, at those uh, Toys R Us. Yeah. Yeah. They they remade them. They're kind of cool. It's like yeah, it's a 2011. It's not that old. Would you do six? No. Okay. Seven. I'll take it. Seven. It's cracked. That's the reason I'm asking. Because they have them, I think, at the store for 12. What do you guys think? You want to do seven? Take it away? He's like debating, not debating. It's hard to bargain with. 
Yeah. That's the first time I, don't, I usually never win, guys. That's the first time I, I always usually bargain. I always take my offer. But uh, for eight bucks, it was a really good deal. I actually wasn't going to leave it for eight bucks, but I was trying to see if I could, you know, like, take seven or six just to save that dollar. But that's fine. You know, sometimes you win some, you lose some. But for eight bucks, is a really amazing deal for this Mario case uh, DS uh, carrier. Nice. All right, guys, it's all about retro games today. Talk about a box Atari. Holy shit. That thing is nice. I'm going to show you guys one. This is where it is, guys. A box Atari. Noise. I've never seen one in the box, guys, to be honest. Hola, ¿cuándo está este? Señor, este de aquí? Fifty. Oh, okay, that's not bad. No es lo más, ¿no? Ahí están todos los muchachos aquí. Okay, I'm out to the point, yeah. Bad, right? Yeah. It's just a box. No, it's incomplete. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm planning on taking it for that price. I could treat it to Joel. And Tinder. Either that or bricks. <laughs> I'll take this. What the hell? Have you seen guys seen this kind of NES controller? No. Huh, it's I, I off? What's uh, his name also about it because we were here? Kind of interested in this, to be honest. Grab this too. Oh, sorry. Is it complete? Um, I can't even tell. I can't even tell for real. It looks like it. Nothing looks really that much. Different. How much? How much did you get the Super Nintendo for? Right here. Not for how much? Fifty bucks. Are you serious? Holy shit. Come up. I already have those. I'll take. Oh, sorry. Pass it. A hundred dollars price. Oh, no, 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 Y 10 por eso. Yes. So 10, 10, 20. Do you have it? No, no, no. That's a good price. The $5 is a good price. Damn, 20. ¿Es por qué está a 20? Es esa. Bueno, lo chequeé está como en like 80 bucks. Damn, really? That's yeah. not a lot. So about 30 for the first. 10, 10, 10. 30 bucks, guys. Yeah. This one I already have. This one I don't have. This one I don't have either. 20, 10, 10, 30 for all three, but. Hmm. You can make it, but you have to take one of those. No, but it's time to take it off. Can you sell them? I don't see that. Uh, $15. It just needs cleaning, but it's, it's good buy. No. 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 Two hundred dollars. No, say twenty-five. Yeah, okay. Twenty-five guys. Ah, sí, por favor. Guys, so the guy that picked up Battletoads Double Dragon, um, just gave it to me right now. Actually, let me see right there. You go. Pretty good condition. Not bad for twenty bucks. So. um I guess he picked up the lot for 10 each, and he knew he couldn't make his money back, so he contacted me, and uh, yeah, I, get, I told him, hey, would you take 20 for it, and he said no, and then sure enough, I saw him again on the aisle, and he's like, hey, you want to give me 20 bucks for that? And I was like, hell yeah. I gave him 20 bucks, and I have my Battletoads Double Dragon for the Super Nintendo. 
super happy about that. And then, of course, I did get the Atari. But we're going back to another booth because some guy has some games for me. So we'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, you guys? We're back home, testing out systems, make sure everything's working. And this Super 10 Nintendo that I bought from this bag for 40 bucks, uh, I remember the guy wanted a crazy price. He wanted $100. I mean, damn, that's nuts of you guys, you know, especially the, the thing that, that you guys got to be careful with is if they don't work. Sure enough, this one didn't work. Um, and it's funny because her, her wife is the one that told me, I don't think it works, you know. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, some people just always say that. But it didn't work. She was right. The AV is not working. The RF is not working. Um, you know, I cleaned it. I give it a best shot. I'm not, I, I can be an ass and just return it back and get my money back. But the, remember when I returned the N64, that didn't work out well. So that vendor kicked me out of his booth. And I don't want to do the same thing with this. I don't want to burn a bridge. So I did call GameStop. They wanted to give me $30 cash, which is great. Um, so I'm only $10 away. But, you know, it's going to pay for itself, honestly, guys. So it came with the controllers. I get to keep a controller and an a, the AF um, or the AV, honestly, for the systems. But it came with an extra game under the Super Nintendo. was an extra game under it. Um, and they're gonna give me ten dollars for Mario World, which is great, you know. So I'll be making about maybe fifteen bucks extra. Uh, probably, honestly, out of all, I probably make fit what maybe like forty five dollars extra because it came with the hidden gem in there. So it came with Mario Paint, another Mario World. So I'm gonna trade it at GameStop, and sure enough, it came with a Mega Man X right under the damn Super Nintendo. Sorry if it's not that focused, but um, it came with another Mega Man X here. So super happy about that. I didn't even check, like I said, I didn't check the bag fully. I just paid for it, put it in the car because I knew it was, it was going to be a good day, guys. It was a great day, but it sure didn't work out. So we're going to go take this to GameStop, um, get some of my money back, recuperate, and, you know, sell, trade some other stuff and um, sell the Mario World so I can make some extra cash for this, for this deal. Because, I, like I said, I want to burn a bridge with the vendor because um, he, um, he sold to me for a good price. So, you know, can't beat that. So uh, there you guys go. Guys, welcome to the Pika video. And I'm going to show you guys the receipt, actually, which is right here. I had $186 at GameStop with all that trade-in credit. And the Super Nintendo was separate. I still got $51 cash with all the Marios. And then um, I still was able to keep Mega Man X. And I still have an extra copy here, you guys, so you guys don't believe me, uh, for trade. And then I still got Mario Paint, which they didn't take in, which is fine. Um, I just might sell it for 3 bucks. I don't know. I'll do something with it. Um... But I'll let you guys know what's up for Chase, so let's get to it. We got a Mario Display um, DS uh, figure for 8 bucks, which was a really good deal. This guy was probably the best negotiator that I ever dealt with. He wouldn't take off a dollar. I mean, I know it's a, a, an amazing deal, don't get me wrong, guys, but that's never happened. Um, so that was really cool, and I was super happy that um, that happened um, because it's just it's, that guy was really good. That's all I can say. He was really good. So for eight bucks, that was a steal. And then we got Biker Mice figurine for my collection that I bought. And then this guy um, is really hard to negotiate with. Very pricey. The only reason I picked these, guy, these games up is because this was sealed. I did open it up. The games are still sealed. Let me know if you guys want this because I already have my personal copy. Um, this is sealed, so let me know, guys. I did get a Mario Sports Mix. And this is the perfect time, you guys, to climb into the Wii wagon because nobody's looking at the Wii right now. There's some really good titles, and Wii right now is very cheap. A lot of collectors have been talking about um, collecting for the Wii right now because it's very underrated. And I know for a fact in a few years, some of these games are going to be very pricey. So this is the perfect time, so letting you guys know. So we got Tales of Symphonia for 5 And I did buy the GameCube controller for 5 So 2 for 5 which was a really good deal. I'm surprised he did that because he was at... I think 13, he did 5 for both, which is really, really, really good. Um, then we got Killer Instinct, Return of the Jedi, and Pokemon Stadium 2. He wanted 40. Imagine, guys, 40. I'm talking about the reason I negotiate is because these people set you guys at a price, and the dumb people are the ones that are willing to pay that price. But I got it for 25 because I had a feeling he wasn't going to do that. He was just seeing, he was testing me. So I got him back at 25. We got Killer Instinct, Return of the Jedi, and Pokemon Stadium 2, which I need these two for my collection. So I'm down to eight more games for my collection. And then we got Battletoads from a um, Brecko collector that bought this underneath all of us and sold it to me for 20 after, after I offered him 25. It's still a very nice game, and I'm super happy to get this because this is my favorite game that I uh, grew up playing and finally have it for my collection. And then, of course, you guys saw that. I do have Pokemon Fire Red for trade. 
And these are all the accessories. There's the PS2 that I got from the thrift store. If you guys need that, let me know because this is an extra. Um, I should have traded it at GameStop, but they don't trade them very well. So anyways, if you guys want that, I got a turbo controller, a Super Nintendo from the other Super Nintendo that I sold, and all the extra cables that I need for future systems if I ever find them without them. Uh, NES Advantage, if you guys need this, I already have one. Uh, let me know because that is up for trade. And then the Atari system, complete in box, is up for trade as well. Um, I do not collect Atari because I didn't grow up with it. So I think it's fair for any of you guys that are very, very into retro. If you guys want this complete in box, it is right here. If you guys don't believe me. There's the manuals. There's the manuals for the games. Um, there's even the big manual for the system that was there with... Um, Ooh, super service. Whoa, they even got their own Superman. So it is there and it has this paddles and everything in there. So I got the system for 35. The guy was, uh, I think the guy was asking, oh, sorry, he was asking 50. Got him down to 35. Juan was able to pick up a Technodrome for 20 bucks, guys. A Technodrome is an amazing Ninja Turtle villain um, vehicle. And he got a Super Nintendo for 15 bucks, which is crazy. So um, anyways, I was able to get this. Um, this stuff is still up for trade if you guys still want this. Let me just letting you guys know Cosmic and Battlefront 2 if you guys don't need that um, But anyways, this is what I got from him. It has some other Power Rangers, but they were incomplete So I took those off and then we still got these G1s. They're missing a lot of parts. I paid two bucks for the whole bag Which was not bad because there was just they were all broken. So I told the guy, you know what? I'll give you two bucks. He said, yeah, take it. So that's it you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, there might be extra footage if it cuts off here. There's extra footage. If not, this is pretty much everything. And then we'll, or this, the other footage for um, tomorrow is going to be added to the next footage for next game hunting video. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for everything. Comment down below. Thumbs up the video, please. And we'll see you guys in the next game hunting video. Peace out.